Okay, I won't do that joke anymore. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, I think. Oh. Uh, well, yes, I, I did. Uh, hmm. I, I, I did say that I was gonna check that later, so that that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna gonna kind of wander out here because you know there's there's one more overworld uh, side quest here. <sighs> Can I do it? Maybe. <laughs> I'm going in. Here we go. And yeah, we're gonna start this with a fresh mind here. Hopefully. Hopefully there won't be any more issues. I mean, I was shooting pretty good over there at the Marion Club just a bit ago, so confidence is pretty high, but then again, these greens are pretty small. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> mm, Alright. You know, I wonder if that, that him asking if you're the one that did this before is like a a fourth wall type break thing because, you know, technically you are the one that has played this challenge before if you played the original game, you know, on, on the Game Boy Color, so, you know, maybe it's a reference to you of the past, maybe, maybe, I don't know, but I'm just gonna plop my ball up over here, and there we go, I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right. It passed the mark, and it should drop. Yeah, that's what I thought. And, and, and... Let's see here... Uh, ah. I would like... Uh, some loft, kinda, maybe. <laughs> they just set the wind. I'm gonna control it with super backspin, because the wind is really gonna push it forward, and I think it's gonna end up long of the hole, and then I'm gonna backspin it back into range. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I can deal with 11.9 feet by not moving the cursor at that angle. There we go, perfectly centered. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, like it when the wind is with me, like it was on the last hole in this one. It, it's just so hard to control the landing. Oh shoot. I hope that's going to work out okay. I'm not sure if it will though. Mm -hmm. Nope, it didn't. <laughs> That's alright. It was just because I missed hit on the power meter, so that was my own fault. It wasn't really that I misjudged it or anything like that, it, it was just a miss hit. Because as you could tell, that would have definitely been on the green if I would have hit it w about where my mark was. So, here we go again. From the top, they're going to try and intimidate me. Well, okay, maybe they're not trying to, they're just kind of they're just kind of exasperated at being thoroughly beaten by this course. But, uh, well, I'm not like that. I am very, very persistent. <laughs> anyway, yes, yes, I will challenge. Bring it on. And, and, and... Why don't I just switch to normal on this first shot automatically? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. It should bounce on the fringe, and bounce on the green, and then end up backspinning a little bit. There we go! Oh, that was like almost a little too much backspin there. But that is okay, as long as it stays on the green and not the fringe. Oh, why must the wind be like that? That's just scary town. I'm gonna try it there. Oh shoot, I underhit that, so I'm gonna use regular backspin, not super backspin like I was planning there. And that's not bad. I think I can make that putt. Just gotta move it a smidge to the right. And I just mean a smidge, because there's not much break going on here. There we go. Alright, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that looks good right there. Uh, oh, I overhit that, so super backspin it is! Yeah, I overhit that by a couple of notches than I wanted to, so I'll just control it with the super backspin. There we go. That, that's like, you can get, control your ball so much better, even on miss hits, when you're using manual as opposed to auto. So as I said before, like way early in the walkthrough, get yourself out of auto as quick as possible, and you'll find it to be very helpful. Uh, looks good, I think. 
Oh shoot, I underhit that. So I'm I'm just gonna let it roll on and hope. Because the wind is really gonna push it back. And it's gonna land softly no matter what. And if I backspin it, it would backspin off the green. That's the logic behind it, and it worked. Um I'm at, at like a crossroads of break. Do you see that there? Uh I don't know which direction I should be pushing it in. I'm, try I'm gonna try not moving it at all and just hitting it hard. Just to try and get all the break out of it. Yeah, okay. That, I think, was the better choice. Uh, okay, the wind is in my face here. That is a good sign. Eh, only a little bit, though. Well, at least it's a little bit for this course. Well, I under hit that. Shoot. That... Well, no, it should be fine based on that trajectory. Just as long as I end up in an okay spot, I will be pleased. And... Hmm. I'm not going to move the cursor again, just going to overhit it. And hope it goes in. Thank you for going in. Hole 6, 7 miles per hour. Uh, that's pretty good RNG for such a, a little hole. I mean, I should say a little green here. I'm going to aim for the chunky spot. And, uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna go a little bit more this way, yeah. Just a little bit more to the right than I had it. Okay, caught it flush, and I hit it exactly how I wanted it, so it should stay on the green. In theory... Yeah! So I misjudged it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I wouldn't even say miserable. I mean, that, well, that would be a makeable putt if you think about it. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Oh, those green edges. Those green edges. Like, you know, I, I haven't really been missing the green all that often on this, per se. If, you, if you're if you counting me hitting the green edges. But the thing is, is that green edges don't count here. So that makes your landing area even shorter. I mean, even smaller than it actually would be in normal circumstances. Alright, one-on-one -on -one putts. That's a good pin location, but not really a good wind. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this one lower. Mm, yeah, something like that. And just a little stoppy stop. It's one of those low stopping balls. Yeah, there we go. It hits into the ridge, and hopefully slows down enough to the point that I don't have to move the cursor, because I'm so close. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. And you gotta admit that the, this whole scene is just very epic. <laughs> like, if you think about it with this music... Oh, <laughs> and this on top of a mountain, just the whole really unique setting, tiny greens, just a nerve wrecker, basically. Well, unless you are playing with nerves of steel somehow, and I don't know of anyone who can play with that many nerves of steel. I and mean, we're talking about really tight shots here, and not to mention nine tight shots in a row. That's pretty nice. There we go, and not moving the cursor. As you know, if I get close enough, that's generally what I don't need to do. Oh, why must the wind be with me on this hole of all holes? And I'm gonna go... Uh, way back. There we go. And hopefully, with the backspin, I'll be able to control it. See, the thing about this is because it's so far downhill, the wind affects it more because the ball's in the air for a longer period of time than normal. So, yeah, it's just a thing of that you gotta kind of play for that. But it's, it's not something that really comes to mind in a lot of holes, because that isn't a situation that really shows its face in a lot of cases. Uh... Because it, it always seems like that you're able to position yourself before that, so you can get yourself on a level terrain. But in this case, no, they automatically start you way, way above the hole. Um, hmm. I don't. I don't know. I'm just. I think that's gonna be okay. Just regular backspin here. I think it's just gonna top out and control on the lower area like before. Yeah. It, it just. Hitting anywhere up there is just so, so risky. I'm gonna move this a smidge to the left. 
it's it's uphill over hits and there we go well technically it's not an over hit because it is uphill oh no 18 miles per hour great um i'm gonna have to aim like way over in the water type area uh yeah like somewhere around there and hope that it stays i mean you see my curse is pretty far back but Remember, we're at an elevated T box too, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, that worked out nicely. Okay. Uh, do I or do I not have to move the cursor, though? I don't think I will have to because I, I'm hitting from the front of a mound onto the back of a mound. They should cancel each other out. So I'm just going to trust it by not moving it. And was it correct? It was correct. Mm, let's see here. Uh... Hmm, why don't I hit like, yeah, somewhere over there, just to the right of the hole, but no, nah, no, nah, doing finicky, finicky meter. <laughs> uh, that looks good right there, I think, so I'm going to do that, and regular backspin, well, I missed it that a little bit to the right, but I think that's actually going to help me, because of the wind anyway, so, yeah, there we go, looking good, and... Let's plop it in. Easy putts. Now the little dot of a green with 11 mile per hour of wind. But it's a short shot, so it shouldn't be that hard to judge. I just want to be up on that flat spot there. So somewhere like maybe there. With some backspin, I think. I think. <laughs> I underhit that a little bit and it's going a little bit right of target, but I don't think it's going to miss the green, so I think I'll be alright. There you go. I just gotta make the putt. It looks like that it's straight. So I'm gonna leave it. Will it go in though? Yes it will. Alright, hole 9. 16 miles per hour of wind, of course. Why wouldn't they want to put pressure on me on the last? Um, I'm gonna have to hit that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit that further. I'm gonna use a power shot to give myself... Oh, I hate that transition point of the... Yeah, when it does that thing between screens like that, like, you can't go over the thing and yeah. <laughs> and it should be alright. I think that's going to be on the green. In theory, the wind is going to pull it back. It's going to drop from pretty high up. I mean, from drop from pretty high up. And I actually was kind of playing with nerves of steel. <laughs> Come to think of it, like, I wasn't really thinking about my shots all that much. And I think that's the key here. You can't get nervous at it. You just gotta, you just gotta play. You gotta shoot. You gotta keep going. And there we go. And that's a lot of experience points, and for good reason because this is by far the game's hardest mini game. Uh, there we go. I just gave each of them a level up and incre improve that by increasing impact and control. I think I will uh, drop the height again because it's getting a little, little crazy. And sure enough, I have unlocked Elf Short Course in all whole modes. I must say, well done. Hmm? Oh, jeez, just ninjaing all over the place. I watch you play my whole course, and I must admit, you're quite the one-on-one -on -one putt golfer. Much as it pains me to say this, I admit defeat. <laughs> this guy really did not want you. Oh no! Oh no! This guy does not want people to beat his course. But well, this eight, the 18 hole course thing isn't really the the kind of thing that it you you know you're thinking it is. Oh, where's mine? I almost forgot. For playing so well, I shall bestow this upon you. Be grateful. It is. The power drink! Drinking this healthy stuff makes one quite powerful. It can even make you strong, I'd wager. Well, it's not a... <laughs> you gotta throw a little insult there. No, well, it's actually a hyper drink. I always just call them power drinks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't recognize the sprite differences offhand. But who is she going to use this? I think Neil needs to use this. So, Neil it is. Alright, so now if I were to go and flop back... Well... <laughs> I was gonna say, hold on, I just want to show you something here. Uh, what do you have to say about this here? Because, yeah, I do believe that, he, you know, he opened up the whole 18 holes, of course, here, but it's not 
the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, it's just the thing of that you can choose to play whether or not you would like to play it. So, if you like, go to story status, side games, uh, over at the field, see over here, all, all the stuff is done there. It's just that we have the option to actually play the full 18 holes here. <laughs> How nice for me! <laughs> uh, so you can do the one-on-one -on -one put challenge of death, like we just did. Or practice round, of course, of uh, all 18 holes, or back nine, or front nine, whatever. Uh, just, I'll save that for later, but I'll... <laughs> that guy. That guy. But here, here's what I mean about it not being the same kind of challenge. I'm just going to purposefully miss the green here. You know, just hit somewhere down over there on that ridge there. And you know, we're not going to be booted out of it. Oh, wait, actually. What? We will? Oh. Oh. Interesting. I thought... <laughs> I thought you wouldn't get booted from- well, maybe I'm thinking of a different play mode. Well, I suppose you can do the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge then here, but I think what I did was I ended up doing it in a different play mode then, but I could have swore that you could just play this course normally in the story mode. Well, I guess I'm wrong about that. But anyway, now that I beat this dastardly minigame, for now, <laughs> I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.